We go to Milan, Italy, August 21st, 1975. Round two, again. Ljubovic Black, so Flipatova. And he's facing the great Dane, Bent Larsen. I hope he didn't get bent out of shape when he lost this game. D4, Knight F6. C4, E6, the East Indian defense. Knight C3, C5, the Benoni defense. D5 is the modern variation. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn. G6, Knight F3, Bishop G7, E4, D6 is the classical variation. Yes, indeed, metaphysician Lyubomir Lyubovich Ferosevich. Ferosevich. That's the truth. I mean, Lyubovich, think about his his record against players at the top of the world. Uh, he, he won at Linares. Don't forget that. Linares was the super tournament back in the 80s. He won at Linares in 85. And he's defeated every top grandmaster that was active during his career, including world champions Garry Kasparov, Anatoly Karpov, Svanathan Anand, he was a top strong uh, player indeed. Um, D6 is the classical variation. Bishop to E2. Kingside castle. Knight to D2. Rook to e8. Kingside castle brings us to Michal Tal's line. Queen's knight d7. a4, a6. And King h1 leaves the book. The book move is Queen c2. Although the most frequently played move is pawn f4. So anyhow, king h1, rook to b8. More frequent here is knight e5. India do re. Uh, rook b8 by Lyubomir. f4, c4, b5 also looks good for black next. Uh, by the way, more common than c4 is queen c7. Did I, did I already mention that? Sorry if I'm repeating myself. Of all the things I've ever lost, I miss my mind the most. So C4, uh, don't play knight takes C4. On knight takes C4, knight takes E4, and after knight takes E4, rook takes E4, and uh, that gives black an advantage so instead he plays e5 Ljubovic played pawn takes e5 that is a frequently played move in fact it's the only move that appears in the database 
I just don't like it. <laughs> I still like B5. I mentioned earlier how B5 would be good. It's not in the database, but that would be my preference. Um, even though after you can take the knight, but then I'm coming in with knight back. And after A takes B5, A takes B5. Well, maybe I'm full of Bologna here, though. Because he could just continue to improve. Bishop F3, Rook A7. He wants to get this bishop in the game. Okay, I understand. Hey there, Strictly Biz. Every evening is a lovely evening when you're playing chess. Uh, by the way, we want to thank Hawk for following and Metaphysician X for following. All right, anyway, D takes E5. Knight takes C4. Now B5. More frequent is e4 here but i'm not averse to b5 now you should not play knight d6 here that allows b4 even though you can take the rook And win the exchange. Um, you have to come this way, don't you? And your knight's out of play. Your knight is out of play. So play A takes B5, which is what Bent Larson played. This really looks better for white than black so far. A takes B5. But uh, knight takes e5 is questionable at the very least. Here knight d6 seems to have better winning chances. Or even knight a5 in this position with the idea of coming knight c6. That might even be better. But knight takes e5. He plays b4. And he goes knight b5 here. He might as well go knight c6 now that he's gone and committed there. Knight c6, give up the knight. And after um, knight takes queen... Pawn takes the pawn, bishop takes the pawn, rook takes the bishop. Um, you got the super attack here. So you don't want to play something like queen c1 because I will get my pigs on the seventh, and that's as good as over. So, for example, if he takes the bishop, I take the pawn, and he can give me discovered check, but after bishop f8, white has no more attack, and he has no good way to deal with the pigs. We're threatening mate. In one, two. So here he would probably have to, it'd probably be better to throw away the knight here, which interferes with black's um, rook. 
Okay. Anyway, coming back. He played knight b5. Cook to live, greetings. Yeah, thanks so much. I actually finished my workout about 40 minutes before coming on the air. Each day, I typically will walk two and a half miles and then do some calisthenics and workout. I weighed in this morning at 233.6, which is the lowest I've been in a long, long time. Don't forget, in the middle of July of this year, I weighed 270. So that was only uh, a few months ago, four months ago, three and a half months ago, 270. Now I'm down at 233. So praise the Lord. Three more pounds and I will have dropped 40. A 2DZ has followed. Thank you. All right, so anyway, uh, knight takes e5 here. Pawn takes the knight. Rook takes the pawn. Bishop to f4 creates a skewer. And it also rhymes, which is awesome. Knight takes the d-man. And now bishop b7 is looking like an appealing move. Now that this diagonal is cleared. Well, bishop to c4 change, uh, causes black to change his mind and play bishop e6. I would probably still have played bishop b7 myself. But I understand the point of bishop e6. It may not matter because he's going to he's he has the opportunity to take this either way. Um bishop takes the rook. Bishop takes the bishop. Queen e2 striking the bishop. Queen g5 defends. And now knight f4 is a move. White has to be aware of that. His way of dealing with it is bishop takes the knight, but that brings out Captain Blunderpass. Um, it was critical to have played g3 to keep the game even instead bishop takes the knight bishop takes the bishop rook to a5 rook to c8 knight to a7 is a nothing burger with cheese. In fact, it's less than a nothing burger. It allows a mate, uh, a mating sequence. <laughs> Metaphysician, congratulating. Took to live for gaining 70 pounds. Yeah, cook to live. Um, my wife lives to cook. And um, I used to live to eat because she lived to cook. You don't know the discipline it takes to resist uh, some of her delicious culinary masterpieces.
All right, so this does allow a forced checkmate sequence. He starts with queen h4, threatening mate on the next turn. As you can see, this would be checkmate on the magic square. So queen takes the bishop, removes the defender uh, of the queen, the supporter of the magic square attack. So instead, wait till you see this move. Hold your breath and buckle your seatbelts. Wait until you see this move. The problem now is that white has a back rank weakness. And the queen has removed herself from assisting on the back rank so that now, bam, queen F2. What a move. What a genius, genius move. Cook to live. Gifting a sub over to Metaphysician. Thank you, Cook to live, for that generous gift. And clearly the point is that this rook is overworked. It cannot both defend the back rank and capture the queen. So, in other words, if he captures the queen, it's checkmate on the back rank. All black can do, all white can do is block and then block, and he's mated. Now, if he, if he tries to um, defend, he's also threatening this mate, you may have noticed. So, if he tries to defend with rook, here, this is a beauty as well. I'm going to take this anyway. <laughs> I'm going to take it anyway. Because once again, this rook is still overworked because the bishop covers the g2 square. In other words, he's still in a back rank weakness. Now the rook is pinned. So I still can give checkmate here. All white can do is block to delay by one more move. 